So for GCSE physics, there are just a huge amount of different quantities, shorthand ways of writing it, different units that we use to measure things in. And not only that, you've also got to be able to remember how all of these things are linked together with all of these different equations. Now, it is true that when you get to your final exams, you'll be given an equation sheet, but it doesn't actually have many of these equations on it. So although some of these are given to you, the rest of them you've got to remember. And there's a lot that you need to remember for different parts of physics. So I've created this to help you actually memorize all of these equations. Now you can do this at any point. You don't have to wait to be taught by your teacher. You can start in year nine or year 10. Even if you don't know the physics, it's still, you can spend a little bit of time and just know the equations. So when it comes to the lesson, you, you already know what the quantities are and how they can be used. So what I've got here is a document that you can print out. And I'd recommend that if you have the option to do this or the ability that you print it out several times. Now, I just made this. It's got several tables. I think I've got eight tables in total. And the way that you could use it is that I've just got the quantity down here. So the first one is kinetic energy, mass and speed. And what I've done is I've just put the quantities uh, in alphabetical order. You then need to write out and just do this from memory, first of all, what the word equation is. So here, uh, what we can say is that kinetic energy is equal to a half times mass times speed squared. Okay, my writing's not great. This pen's a bit thick for this. So that's the equation. What's the symbol equation? Uh, well, that's equal to EK is equal to a half MV squared. And then what you can then do is fill in the whole table. So we've got another one for this. Uh, and you just do the whole thing from memory. You can then go back have a look in your list of equations and actually check if you're correct. So if you're correct, you know, give yourself a massive tick, you know, nice smiley face. If it's not correct, maybe write in any corrections in another colour. And what you can then do is do the same again and again and again. And basically some, as you go through the different sheets, you might try this on different days. It doesn't all have to be done the same day, but it starts to introduce new equations and also repeat some of the equations that you'll have done on other sheets. Now, um, on the sheet, I've got my kind of coding system where basically things which are highlighted in light blue are for physics only. So that might also be called separate sciences or triple science. And also some of the equations are in bold. If they're in bold, that means they're for the higher tier paper. And if you're doing foundation, you don't need to do these. OK, so what I've got is a load of sheets and basically you should work through them. And once you've got to the end and you've done them all, you should then start again, get a new fresh piece of paper, maybe a week later. And what you then need to do is start repeating uh, the same thing again, because you need to aim for to be 100% correct in knowing your equations. It's something that you can do. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of practice, or actually quite a lot of practice. But if you know your equations, it means when it comes to doing your exams at the end of year 11, you're going to go in confident, knowing that you not only know how to answer questions, but you actually understand the physics as well. And that means you're not going to lose easy marks when it's a nice straightforward equation, uh, and you're not going to be spending time looking through to the equation sheet to check out which equation you need to use. So. Um, you can find this on my website, gcsephysicsonline.com. It is worth just downloading, printing out, and then it's just down to you to practice this until you know every single equation that you need for GCSE Physics.